Welcome back to our channel guys and good morning. It is 7.30 a.m. and I'm just about to embark on a couple of hour journey up the A1 to Teesside because I'm going to pick up a salvage vehicle today. Now I've got a long history with salvage vehicles, did it for a quite a period of, of time through my career. Um, up and down as is with a lot of things uh, over the last probably five years it's been more down than up when I got into the industry it was uh, pretty lucrative you could make a good living out of it uh, salvage was priced um, accordingly you had enough margin to buy the vehicles repair the vehicles and then turn a profit over the last five years that's been on a decline uh, more so over the last two years things have just gone insane where salvage vehicles are becoming overall more expensive than just going and buying one um, you know out of the auto trader or, or from a forecourt even so we've been looking as I always do I stay in the, in, in the trade and, and keep my eye on things and see if any bargains come up so I've been having a look and this week um, a vehicle's popped up and I had a look at that and I thought, actually, that's, that's priced reasonably, providing the bidding doesn't go insane. Uh, you know, Matt Armstrong, thanks very much, has done something to the industry where everybody's having a go at repairing something, so the prices are going insane. Unlike Matt Armstrong, I'm not clinically insane, so unless it makes financial sense, I'm not going to get involved. Um, so I saw this vehicle and I, and I had a look at it and I thought, you know, it really does not look like a lot of damage. It, it's price sensible, providing the bidding doesn't go insane. So I looked at my bank account and it wasn't looking really good because I've got my money tied up elsewhere. Won't get into that just now. So I rung a friend of mine who, who always likes to have a bit of a dabble in, in something nice, a uh, prestige vehicle, luxury vehicle supercar uh, providing it makes financial sense so I give him a call um, I said what do you think about this Dan um, I think it's plenty plenty of margin and he's given me the green light and said look you know if you think you can do something with it I'll buy it you fix it happy days as the title in this video suggests this could be the easiest supercar fix that I've come across Again, we don't know till we go and pick it up. We're heading up there in a minute. I'm going to go and pick Wing Commander Naz up, who's going to do the uh, videoing for me, although he doesn't know it just yet. Uh, and let's hope I've got it right. What you often find, and this is where it's always a bit nerve wracking when you go and pick a vehicle up, quite often the vehicle sustained more damage in the salvage yard than they actually did in the incident or the accident that they got the uh, insurance. Uh, written off for, uh, namely, and people who are in the salvage industry who deal with salvage will know this, is the forklift truck drivers. Sorry guys, but I've got to call you out. I've had vehicles which, on the face of it, don't look that badly damaged, got them back, and the forklift truck drivers punctured the fuel tank, knocked the suspension off. You know, they, they really are ruthless, those guys. So I'm going to go out there and I'm, and I'm going to plead with the salvage yard to uh, allow us to try and drive this vehicle onto the trailer. I feared the worst when we realised that the car had already been moved out of the main compound and it was parked at the side of the office, which meant it might have already been picked up by the forklift truck. After sorting out the paperwork in the office, we get to see the car for the first time. And so far, so good. The damage really doesn't look that bad. And the guys in the office have assured us that it hasn't been lifted by a forklift truck yet. Even though I'm really happy that the damage looks minimal, it's too soon to celebrate because we don't know if the engine runs and if there's a problem with the engine, we could be in a world of pain. It's definitely started. It's definitely started. <laughs> Result, the engine's okay. So let's get it back up on the ramp 
and see what else might be damaged. After a bit of negotiating, the staff even let us drive the car out of the yard and onto the trailer. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated and follow us on this project.